I'm Eric Laporte's diagnosis is that he will be out until the new year. Uh, that could have been worse, of course, considering it was a knee injury, but uh, as we understand it, Manchester City confident of getting him back. Uh, still bad news overall for yeah. the team. Sounds like a long time, though, for what, what it is. You know, I don't know exactly, but it's reportedly cartilage and meniscus, which, from my experience, having had that uh, operated on quite a few years ago, it's keyhole surgery, you don't, and, and you potentially can get back in a few weeks. Obviously, there are different scales, of how much damage there is, so and I don't know, but I would be, you know, I think that as you said, it's not the worst case scenario of, of cruciate ligaments. So maybe he'll be back before then. But if he's not, they have to cope. And you know what they're left with? They're left with you know John Stones and and, and Otamendi. Uh, they're left with Kyle Walker maybe having to play centre half or, or uh, Fernandinho, who's been injured himself. Uh, it may. And Vincent Company's not there anymore, of course, so it may beg the question whether they thought they wanted to push the boat out for Harry Maguire in the summer, which they weren't prepared to do. They said, look, this is your cut-off. If Man United want to pay this from, that's their own business. But we're cutting off at this, which is fine, uh, because they wanted the player, Ross, but didn't want to pay the money. Now they're a little bit short in that position. I, bearing in mind we're not the group stages of the Champions League shouldn't be a major hurdle for them. And most of the Premier League teams, let's be honest, are cannon fodder at the moment for the big guys, particularly at home. It shouldn't be a major issue unless John Stones and Otamendi go down with hamstrings or, or, an, or, or an injury that's going to give them. Then they've got no centre-halves. Right. Then it's a problem. When you look at what he may choose to do, you mentioned Carl Walker coming in, Fernandinho maybe slotting back. They have some sort of optional way of dealing with it, and you mentioned the Maguire thing. Yeah. Well, I don't, I, don't think, I don't think Bernardo Silva is going to uh, slot back in there, but no. somebody will. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he's played a three at the back before, and he's been played a three and a four in the same game. With you know, I think they did it against Tottenham last year. But as I say, Fernandinho's been out himself. The big bonus is that he can move back there with uh, Rodri. Mm. Now that they have signed Rodri, they have a natural, at the moment, you know, successor to Fernandinho in the middle of the park. Whether he can bring the same sort of performances as Fernandinho over the piece remains to be seen. But it does mean that they have a natural holding midfielder if uh, Laporte needs cover or one of the other centre-halves needs cover because of this guy's injury and other injuries, there are options. There will be little sympathy for Man City from outside Man City because of their spending power. But they didn't go and get that extra cent and a half in the summer. And, you know, it could come back to haunt them. But I, looking at recent performances, I don't think so. If it gets to the knockout stage of the Champions League and he's still not around and we're thin on the ground and City are thin on the ground, then we might be looking at an issue this early in the season. I don't think so. I was just going to say that just to wrap up. Do you think that he'll need much bedding back in? Let's say he comes back at the turn of the year. He would have thought a month or six weeks would be long enough back to those knockout stages in mid-February. Depends how good a Christmas he has. <laughs> if he has a real good Christmas and New Year, we know what that's like. You're rubbing your hands. So they're going to, he's going to have to look after himself, which I surely will with all these clubs now. Rehab's fantastic. As I say, I, I'm surprised they're saying it's going to take as long as it is because of what he's got. I haven't had experience of that kind of thing. So I'd hopefully, from his point of view, he's not going to be out that long and players are super fit these days. Don't think it's going to be a big issue for Man City. OK, so it could have been worse, it could be better, but at the moment Manchester City not under a severe amount of strain and we wish him well, of course.